So this morning we're going to look at the word, the word of God titled Exploit for God's Glory. Exploit for God's Glory. So what is the meaning of exploit for God's glory? It's a life of total surrender and complete trust in God. Pleasing in conduct in lifestyle in exploit in worldly form everything bring joy to God you pray by that spirit because you totally surrender all submitted all and that will make for all that you represent to become a glory and a strength what does that mean? it means that life that place of total submission to God and you become a display of his glory of his power of his exploit what he wants to do here on earth you become the representation of the providence of God that you have been ordained to represent as Joseph, Mordecai, Daniel did represent that beauty. It's my prayer as we assess the glory, may we be retained in his glory. May we be retained in his power. As we are retained his power, as we go out, as we come in, may there be a demonstration of it in the name of the Lord Jesus. So to assess his glory, the midst of it is you have to have encounter with God. Number one, number two, know him know him spend time with him have a sweet fellowship with him relate with him not as a contractor that you need help from you just go there because you have a need but there should be a basic common relationship and a sweet fellowship some of us God had done we have encountered God at the part of it and loving him at the initial time part of it we just ask fellowship we time we relate with his word as life and and a, a time came there was a separation because you have been overtaken by seasons of life season of plenty season of commanding the glory of the world that had taken the love your heart for God the place of God has been overtaken by those things friend is something that stands here every man that ever made it in history when they arrive at a point of glory what brought them to that point of glory they don't abandon it they don't cut off from it if you want to consistent, consistently go on. Remember what brought you this far and walk with it. Take it along with yourself from point to point. You know that this building wouldn't have been if the first jump block is removed for the other blocks to come up. It's not possible. But when you have to get to the top and you still find out that the foundational block is faulty, you are in trouble. Amen. Amen. So what, when we realize that we are created for God's glory or God's will, then we will have access. We will operate in this strength. Now, if you have not realized the plan of God for your life, you are just wasting your time. If you have not realized your life with God, and you are not a vessel of God, it is of the devil. And that cannot mean anything. Do you know what happened? You may attain anything here on earth. It stops here. It doesn't. Do you know what? The earth is going to pass away. That element is there. Nobody can do it. The only thing that can do it is you knowing God, know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. The element that kills and enslaves in the world 
will not have power over you. If you look at Mary Magdalene, the demon that would have destroyed her, what happened? Because of her encounter with Christ, what happened? It checked out. If she had opened her door, what would have happened? They would have come back in severe form. It's the same strength. Don't the world does not worth your value. The world, you don't have to create a space for them in your life. Don't be a vessel to carry out the purpose of, of the world for the world. You may work for the world. They can't pay you. What they pay you at the end will still be used against you to demean you in glory. Don't use the worldly system to put a size and a value for yourself. Everything is a means the devil uses to demean. I don't know what God has spoken to you, but what I'm seeing in nonsense is exploit for God's glory is find yourself totally yielded to God and walk in submission to all that God is. You walk in power. You walk in glory. They that do know their God, they shall be strong and will do exploit. I don't know what this is giving part to in your life. Me, I will not go out of this world without being an exploit doer of his glory. What, you are, what, you, what is disturbing you but I declare this morning those things are crushed you are free from them in the name of Jesus I remember in my village when I saw that they, there was no church that could exist there because of the power that be I said Lord help me to assess this glory and make the church to, us, to stand here and exist here by God's grace to his mercy more than five churches are now in that village why? Before that time, it was not possible. But God, when He came down, there was a permanent stamp upon that village, and the glory of God took the rule over that place and bear root today. I know what you stand to represent will forever speak for you.